HCAM programming is supported by our viewers, thank you, and by Phipps Insurance Agency, representing companies such as MapFree Insurance. Their family-owned independent agency is deeply rooted in the communities they serve and offer time-tested insurance products to fit individual needs. Since 1950, Phipps Insurance specializes in home, auto, business, condo, and renter's insurance. Happy Holidays and welcome to this best of edition of HCAM News. Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to recap some of the happenings this year in Hopkinton. This past November, Hopkinton High School honored five Hillers alumni with their annual Top of the Hill ceremony. During the day, the five honorees had an opportunity to talk to some of the classes at Hopkinton High School. In the evening, the Top of the Hill ceremony took place. The Hopkinton High School Top of the Hill program honored five Hillers alumni with their annual Top of the Hill ceremony in the evening. During the day, the five honorees had an opportunity to talk to some of the classes at Hopkinton High School. Fairfield was legit the one school that I got into that wanted me to play softball at their school. That gave me some money to do that. Um, and it was two and a half hours door to door. So for me, I was getting a little bit away. And I knew I wanted a small school. Uh, During the day, there was a town-wide power outage, but fortunately, the generators kicked in and allowed the day to continue on. It's hard to know when you get out of school what you want to do, but you work at it and find something you really like and move on and keep going. Señorita Polanski me, me dio esa, este disco cuando uh, yo era un alumno. Creo que yo compré este disco, yo no sé. Uh, <laughs> pero, I graduated um, my senior year of high school football. I broke my neck into the third, fourth game in the season. So that meant uh, at that time that I was in the hospital from October until April. But I love kids and I leverage that and my unique way of thinking. Right? I got to go to Hopkinton High School and then prep school and colleges. We're so privileged here. In the evening, the Top of the Hill ceremony took place. Dr. Lynch is certified with the American Board of Radiology and is a member of the American College of Radiology. And I remember feeling guilty um, in the days and hours, even months after that injury, that I left them down and I wouldn't be available to help them out. Um, so it wasn't so much my feeling sorry for myself as it was um, feeling like I was letting my my team members down. She has played a big role in the growth of the town through the positions she's held. Starting with a part-time position as a bank teller, she was recruited to work full-time at the town of Hopkinton Water Department in 1981, from, where, from which she retired in 2015. All right, how was it to be back at Hopkinton High School today and have a chance to talk to the students? It was great, and they were so nice and polite and asked good questions and I really enjoyed it, yeah. And how did it feel to get the call uh, for the that you're getting honored today? I was nervous. I said, why did they call me? <laughs> but then I got, after I thought about it a while, I said, oh, that, that's an honor. So I, I usually don't like to talk about myself too much, so. <laughs> She's made a significant impact on not only our community, but those all across New England. I'd like to recognize her for her achievements and exemplification of what it means to be a Hiller. The first started right here in the Hall of the Bacon Test. Well, technically they were in the middle school where I graduated from, but you get the idea. Some of my fondest memories were made here in these classrooms and on those athletic fields. I built friendships here that still exist today and now our kids are growing up together. Back then, I even learned math at the old Golden Spoon where there were no computers or credit cards. I had to make change on the spot while customers were staring at me waiting for their money. Try to do that, try to make change today without a calculator. <laughs> 
<laughs> is drastically contributed to the com community in many ways, such as working as a paralegal for the U.S. Attorney in Boston to investigate healthcare fraud cases, designing and managing nurse-run medication system treatment programs for opioid and alcohol use disorders, and providing psychiatric care at community health centers in multiple languages. It was great to be back at, at uh, HHS. It's been a, a while since I've been back. And uh, the students were great. It was a great opportunity to uh, speak with them and, and uh, hear their stories and, and share mine and, and hopefully answer some questions. And, and they were all just uh, they were great kids. And how did it feel when you got the call that you were getting an award today for the Top of the Hill program? It was a great, uh, great feeling, great honor. Um, Josh, Hannah had uh, contacted me a couple months ago and so I was surprised to, to see that and, and shocked and, and humbled and honored all at the same time. So it was a, it was a great honor to be here. And I have to ask because I saw you talking to the uh, Spanish class today, how many different languages do you speak? <laughs> Oh, not barely English. I think this is the accurate answer to that, but uh, I think a few different ones. Maybe, maybe three. Maybe three. It was a terrific gift to get to reflect with the students and share about uh, just how much has changed in the school, how many even more opportunities are available, and to share a little bit about the work we do serving people with uh, communication disabilities and the kids in Brazil that we're partnering with and their families. So they were real receptive and we had a lot of good laughs, so that part was fun. And then there was a real serious part where I'm here with my daughter Madeline and uh, we just feel so lucky to have all that we have and uh, we want to recognize how much privilege we have and be thankful for um, all we have. It was. Uh, really highlighted by during the school day the power went out and they started making announcements about lunch and how they're going to bring in food from the elementary schools and you know these are high schoolers who have more than enough food all the time and uh, it was ironic and, and kind of fun that they were going to bring pizzas and order pizzas and such um, so overall it was a terrific time getting to spend time with Dr. Lynch uh, one of the inductees was incredible hearing his story about becoming a medical doctor and um, and then uh, Gene Scarletta, who graduated from the original high school or one of the early high schools, was so fun. And um, Matt Ellum and uh, Missy McDonald, it was really fun to see them again and share in their success. It was terrific. And uh, when you got the call that you were going to be honored today in the Top of the Hill program, how'd that feel? Oh, it was so humbling. It just made me feel thankful that uh, I get to share about what. Hopkinton gave to me and that it also made me think and feel sad about my friend uh, Rory Horton who's a beautiful artist who uh, I met an artist today in the school uh, she, she was sitting here actually in this seat um, or right around this seat and uh, she seemed pretty disillusioned like my friend Rory was in high school but uh, she had a gift with art we talked about it and uh, I told her a story about this guy Mike Matas who Steve Jobs hired who I don't believe he finished high school but he had a brilliant gift with design and so uh, these things come around full circle and uh, these stories it's a gift to get to tell my story and how I had to overcome adversity and the resilience of the human spirit I'm just so thankful to have a soul that grew up in Hopkinton and uh, all the love I'm looking over my mother just came over here so it's fun to uh, celebrate with family and uh, appreciate what we have thank you we asked and you delivered a number of Hopkinton residents sent first day of school photos to us here's a look back at the first day of the 2019 2020 school year <laughs>
HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of healthcare options. This past September, Weston Nurseries hosted their annual Blooms, Brews, and a Barbecue event to benefit the Jimmy Fund. Here's a look back at the second annual event. Weston Nurseries hosted their annual Blooms, Brews, and a Barbecue event to raise money towards the Jimmy Fund walk, which will take place on September 22nd. Last year, Weston Nurseries and their walkers raised over $29,000 towards the walk, and by the looks of the crowd this year, there is no doubt that the third annual Blooms, Brews, and Barbecue event raised a whole lot more. Rigs and mac and cheese, how can you go wrong here? Blooms, Brews, and Barbecue, Weston Nurseries. Right now, for the Jimmy Fun Walk, it's only 26 miles. Piece of cake. And, and, you can do half a marathon. Oh, you can do half a marathon, 10K, 5K, correct? Correct. 10K, 5K, piece of cake. Right. Fun group of people. And As you can see. Right? Just do it. Like, why wouldn't you? It's for children. Besides coming here, how can people sign up? Oh. So go on to our website, westernnurseries.com, and uh, go see our on our events page, the Jimmy Fun Walk. You can sign up that way too. How's the event going? It seems not hot than I've ever it's seen. It's awesome. It. It's awesome. I it's think awesome. we've had more people than ever this year. It's our third year, and what happened today is the sun came out, and we've had very good luck because all three years the sun has been out. It's like this perfect fall day. Great um, people, great vendors. I think we've had 800 in the past couple of years. We might break that this year. Seems like there's a lot more people here this year. And the beer guys are selling out, and the food guys are selling out. So they're getting more food and more beer, and we're going to keep it going right till seven. Awesome, tremendous. Any word on how the donations are going? I can't tell until the end of the day, but I know we're going to raise more money this year. I think I've last seen year, a lot of people at the donation table. Yeah, last year we did about seven thousand or eight thousand dollars. I think we'll break ten this year. We've got um, sports memorabilia here, and people are bidding on those, so that all contributes toward the cause. And we've got the people from the Jimmy Fund here, and we have opportunity drawings. Seems like people are really participating more this year. It's so nice to see you here on this beautiful day. I thought it was supposed to be a hurricane. What happened? I'm so glad it's not. We are the South Street Band. We're so happy to be here. I'm sure you guys are very happy to be here. How could you not be? There's amazing food, there's amazing music, there's amazing beer. Really, how can you go wrong with that? Come on. What a day, I thought we were gonna have some wind, some earth, wind, and some fire. But it didn't, it, it blew away. We got the fire. We got the fire, it'll blow some wind. Please don't. <laughs> This past August, a handful of Hopkinton boy and girl scouts received proclamations from the select board. Here's a look. A pair of Hopkinton Girl Scouts were at the select board meeting to receive proclamations for receiving the Girl Scout Gold Award. Girl Scout Emma Bograd worked on a dog park project to help establish regulations and safety protocols. Have worked to find gather information um, spanning nine different dog parks 
uh, surveying 100 people, both about how much they know about how to keep their dogs safe in the dog park, so socialization of dogs in the dog park, and how often it's used and how many people and dogs they usually see on a typical basis. Um, on top of that, I've worked on gathering information about the rules and regulations for, for the dog park um, in order to present a set of rules and regulations for our hopefully future dog park. To integrate different parts of the community through something that can be shared. And with mine, I chose to try and integrate different aspects of music, including bringing members of the Golden Pond community to be able to come to the Hopkinton High School Pops concert in the spring, which is something that allows them to both be able to go out into the community, meet new people, and be exposed to what different things are happening with the music association and the stuff coming out of the high school in that degree. So me and Jack's Eagle Project was we built a two-person soapbox derby car for an able-bodied driver and a um, autistic or anybody that can't race on their own that needs help. And I was inspired to do this because I have an autistic cousin and my mom works with the special ed students. And I've been, I raced soapbox for eight years and I'd always see the cars at the races and they would be side by side and they'd go down the hill. And when I proposed this idea to my dad, he thought we should do a front and back. And when we decided we wanted to do this, I had mentioned it to Jack. And he thought it was a cool idea, so he hopped on it with me. We both made our own, and the project took a lot of time. He has pictures. So my project, um, I went down to the respite center, um, uh, and I bought them some nice pressure-treated wood uh, from Hopkins and Lumber, and I built them uh, picnic tables to uh, like not only replace to the, the ones that they had, but kind of just add on because um, the existing picnic tables they had in their uh, recreational area were kind of weather beaten and um, not as sturdily made. Um, so I wanted to give them something that would uh, last a while. Back in March, Hiller Hockey made it all the way to the TD Garden to take on Wachusett in the Division Three state championship. Unfortunately, the Hillers fell short to Wachusett in the big game, 3-2. But in the state semifinals, they had an incredible performance against Lowell. Here's a look back. The South Division III champion Hopkinton Hillers took on the North Division III champion Lowell at the Songus Arena in Lowell in the Division III state semifinals Wednesday, March 13th. And the first period was an absolute scoring fest. Simos along the near side boards up with Matt Aslan. And now Walsh with a shot and a goal! Just like that, one nothing, Ehlers. What a beauty of a shot there by Walsh. What a great play by Walsh. He came back, Steve Simos went down to pinch. Uh, Walsh came back to cover, picked the puck up, walked into the middle and nobody challenged him. He walked right in with a beautiful wrist shot. It goes, Rogers closing in. Rogers with a steal there and another goal! Rogers with a beauty of a feed to Hamlet! Two nothing, Hillers. And there's that team speed, Tom. Uh, just a great play by Rogers getting down. He forced the defenseman to make that turnover. And Hamlet going right to the net. Well, Thomas set it up. Now the Hiller's going to try to work back up the ice. Pass up to Rogers from Simos. Now here comes Walsh. Walsh with a breakaway opportunity here. Racing in. The shot. Go! Count it! 3 nothing, Hillers. It's the Sean Walsh show. Get up along the boards. Pass up to the blue line. There's a shot turned away by Thomas. That puck still loose. Line able to keep it away. And it's still in front. Now it's going to go in. That was off the stick of Andrew Potsifas. Well, Thomas had some great saves there. And just that last one just trickled out enough for Lowell. It will take advantage of that. Here comes Hassett. Hassett racing up the far side for Lowell. Breakaway shot. And it's turned away by Thomas. But then the secondary shot is knocked in. And just like that, it's 3-2. to two. Owen Goulet with the goal. 9-0-1 left to go. It's a hockey game. Simo speeds that up the ice. And now it's taken away by Sean Walsh. Walsh racing in. Leaves it out in front. And a goal by Hamlet. What a response by the Hellers. 
Walsh to Hamlet at 8.49 left to go. Again, just a great key face-off win by Walsh to start it and a beautiful passing play with Hamlet. Kirk, and now Lowell has a breakaway at three on one coming up the ice. There's a shot and a goal. Thomas has it, makes it four to three. Four to three, Hiller's lead. 6.30 left to go, and yes, the first period. Walsh on a breakaway, the shot, goal! Sean Walsh already with a hat trick, and we're in the first period. Just unbelievable. The, the Hillers just making the use of the uh, the outside lanes there and the speed to be able to make that puck and, and play that right down the sideboards and Walsh with a beautiful shot top corner. That goal comes with 6.25 left in the first period. Hamlet getting in there, up behind the net, tied up with Hassett. Trying to sneak it out. Rogers racing in, Hassett just able to get it away. Now Walsh with possession. There's a shot out in front. Hamlet, and now Rogers with the flip. And Rogers on the secondary yeah. shot, and that's in! Go, Hillers! Hillers just taking advantage of that open ice in the slot there, just battling for pucks and being open, and just staying right on top. Great play by Rogers. Kyle Rogers sticking with it, getting a couple shots off. And he puts one in off the deflection. Six to three, Hillers. 34.8 seconds left. And yes, the first period. Six to three, heading into the second period. And the offense slowed down considerably. The only goal in the second period came with just under a minute left from Will Quinlan. Not a little wide by Hamlet. Hamlet put that one off the side of the net. Now Hamlet trying to leave it in the slot. Kirk trying to turn it around. And he'll leave it for Quinlan and it's in! Dan Kirk on the assist, Will Quinlan on the goal. And the Hillers have broken through just under a minute left to go in the second period. 7-3, Hopkinton. That play all started with Kirk. Kirk was uh, alone by himself in the corner, used the boards, got around two defenders, came out front, and was able to control that puck, get a shot off, and then they got the rebound back out front. In the third period, Quinlan added another goal. Champion Long Meadow, 4-3 in a shootout. Miller's the South champion up against Lowell, the North champion right now. Here we go, wide open break, an empty net. Quinlan for the win. 8-3, Hillers. The Hillers take the game 8-3 and advance on to the state championship. That will just about do it for this best of edition of HCAM News. Don't forget, you can stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. Be sure to head over to our website for the latest happenings in our community and check out the Hopkinton Community Calendar to take a look at upcoming events in town. If you have a Hopkinton-related video, photo, or story idea, I want to hear from you. Email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. As always, thanks for watching HCAM News. Take care, everyone, and we wish you very happy holidays and a happy new year.